So let's go to the next lab, which has to do with the server side include injection. How do you is it, uh, carry out this exploitation? So let's let me reset. I have to reset my that my uh, broken web. Uh, sorry, that uh, was was that that again for my. App. This is my app. I think the IP address is one for one ninety to one for four. Let me let me open it to my project address. Let me open it on my on my host. I think it is one ninety to one cc dot one for three right. Let's do this server side. Good injection. So what you need to do So you can see the server side include injection. I was able to let me explain the command first. You know, this with this, I was able to. Get the ID, the, the ID first. And with this, I was able to display the, the uh, I was able to do a listing of everything on my PHSSWD file. So if I want to connect on a remote port, uh, as uh, being demonstrated here. <laughs> so let's see what can be done there. Let me go back. Let me just say, I want to connect to the port connect. So remote ports. Let's say nine nine nine. If I click on that, yeah. So next thing that we need to do, we just come. Uh, I will specify the. I will just specify. I do an universe. Uh, let me go back to my. There's my web. Uh, my Kali. So my IP address is one nine two dot one six eight dot forty one. I think it's is it one for three or this is one for three. You can see that I've been able to do <laughs> to, to, to do a reverse share onto my attack uh, onto my targets application. So that's how vulnerable is server side include vulnerability. 
can be. So let's proceed. So with the web application pattern testing, there are a lot of, uh, you can say, no matter how secure your server is, and the application is vulnerable. From the application, you can uh, you can gain a network access. You can do because definitely your infrastructure trust your application. Application is a trust uh, trusted asset. So if the application is vulnerable, so you just be leveraging on the trusted asset, uh, the trusted 